Hey everybody, Craig Moore here for Winchester Machine and Fabrication in Winchester, Kentucky. And not long ago I posted a video, uh, I think it was called Shaft Repair, and um, it involved uh, a repair job that we had uh, for a local company, and uh, got a lot of questions, a lot of people asked about uh, what type of repair, repairs do you do, uh, what type of machining do you do, shipping options, different things like that. And so let's go back to that video and talk about that particular repair for just a minute because that that was something a lot of people can identify with uh, in that case uh, a failed bearing caused uh, damage to the shaft and just so happens I've got one right here very similar to it it's just a lot worse so let me show it to you okay this is the drive into the shaft you says you can see the keyways and this diameter would have gone back to this shoulder. And on that diameter would be this bearing here. This is a high end pillow block bearing. It's all stainless steel with an extremely hard uh, core right here. This surface that goes against the shaft would have gone over this area. It would have slid up to the shoulder and then set screwed in place and that would have supported uh, this end of the shaft. Unfortunately, when the original bearing seized up, then the shaft became the bearing surface and it spun inside of this hardened area right here. I call it race just because. And the wear was significant, probably 5 16 per side here, 8 millimeter, uh, just over 3 8 maybe 10 millimeter per side here. So. Uh, in that particular video, what we did is we built the eroded area up and then in what you see in the video is we're turning that down and recreating that surface again. Um, there is another option uh, in this type of repair. We could have just cut that off and uh, bored the shaft out. We couldn't in that particular situation. We could in this one, uh, but we disregard this. We, we cut it off, throw it away, make a stub shaft bore this shaft out, press that one in, and TIG weld around here, and we're back to good. It just depends on how the customer sees it. And some customers uh, certainly have a preference. Uh, uh, but so uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, they're gonna be here today, and we'll get them to look at it and make a determination insofar as which way they wanna go with it. But uh, it, is a, it, is a, it is a very common repair but insofar as other repairs, um, we also uh, do keyways, we do threading, we do splines, and um, we can make this shaft um, from scratch if we had to. Uh, and sometimes we do get new orders. Uh, it's, it's difficult at times to tell uh, just how much work is gonna be involved. But if you go to our website, uh, you'll see our contact information and uh, you can send us pictures of your particular project and um, you know we can make a determination as to whether we need to just make the shaft over again or try to do some repairs now we also ship all over the uh, united states so that's not uh, it's not a problem you can go uh, fedex ups things like that larger shafts like this they'll have to go freight it's not a problem we've got freight options too um, but we can offer a relatively quick turnaround. If you would, give us a call, 859-771-8581 to discuss your needs. I'm Craig Moore, Winchester Machine and Fabrication. Thanks for watching.